Here in Central Florida, more than 100 people gathered at Lake Eola in Orlando tonight to stand in solidarity and to send a message. News 6's Matt Petrillo continues our live team coverage from Lake Eola. So, Matt, how did this all come about there? Well, Eric, event organizers say they needed to denounce the hate of the white supremacist who rallied yesterday in Charlottesville. Now, tonight's vigil started over by the band shell here in Lake Eola. Then people marched to where I'm standing, armed with candles and prayers in solidarity. It's important that we come together as a community and, you know, tell the world that we're united. More than 100 people lit candles in front of Lake Yola tonight, standing in solidarity with Charlottesville. I feel uh, very sad, very upset, um, and sometimes I feel afraid, to be honest. As a woman of color, it's, it's, it's very disturbing to know that there are people out there that will hurt you. Those who organized the vigil pointed to the symbolism of the chosen spot, the place where a statue of a Confederate soldier was recently removed. I want to see the end of the white supremacist, you know, reign on the world. The Orlando Workers League, a socialist group, organized the vigil. Their message? End the hate. We won't accept that rhetoric. We just won't accept that hate and that racism. I'd like to see a real strong solidarity movement, a movement of people that will call out white supremacy. And the vigil ended about two hours ago, but event organizers say they're not stopping here. They're now working to build a coalition to help bring the community together. Eric.